Hello guys, what the heck's up? It's me, Almighty Maddie, and welcome to Sketchbook Tour. This, I know this sketchbook is like, it's it's only halfway full, but I got really impatient, and I did not know what to upload today, so I'm just doing a, a half of a sketch, hold on, I'm doing a half of a, of a, of a, of a sketchbook, it's, it's only this much out of this much, so if you hear some background noise, that's because my mom's doing some cleaning. And uh, I'm in my bedroom. It's actually eight kinds of messy, so you're only seeing a little bit of the desk, like in these, in the margins. So, without further ado, allow me to start with this crud. All right. So this page is filled with a bunch of madness, like disbelief papyrus, sands with a weird green and blue glowy eye, me, me practicing uh, gradients. And just testing out all my colors and stuff, and that's Chaos Emperor's head when he gets mad. Y'all don't know who Chaos Emperor is. Chaos Emperor is. He's an OC. So uh, if you're wondering why I did all this experimenting on the very first page, it's because one, this, these these sketchbook pages are extremely thin, like printer paper thin. I'm not bashing or anything, and I just got new colored pencils for Christmas, so this was. Very much of an experimental page. And then there is one of my brother's OCs, Andromedus. Uh, his hair is green and black, but I added too much black. It's way too dark. But hey, this was just, I was just experimenting. That's why that name looks ugly as heck, too. Hang on, let me just, I'll scoot it that way. Um, that's why the name looks ugly, too. I was just testing out the different colors and stuff and seeing how it would look. It looks really horrible, and so did the sketch, but it's just a sketch. Um, I'm a Nico Atsume fan, so I drew one of the cats from the games. I think it's Pumpkin. I can't tell which one that is. And then I drew a weird, messed up monster of it, monster version of it, just saying, because the first, the, the, there are plenty of pages in this sketch where I just did not know what the heck I was doing. So, uh, this, these, these are... Two expressions for one of my OCs, Desperado. Desperado, um, he is what is called a Terrasars. So is uh, Andromedus and a couple other OCs, actually. Here, he's just yelling all frantic, like, What the heck is that? Probably because something is falling out of the sky or something. Or he saw something really floppy and really veiny. And um, I also t tried out a new name thing like I like as you see here because I usually don't do the name with like two colors I just write it and call it a day I might change up the font but I I did an outline so that's that's oh my god what on earth that's just that's just a photo I got from the internet it's actually just Pokemon it's nothing terrible I just didn't know that happened I might have tapped that by accident gosh then here I drew a bunch of names. This is 2100, one of our one of Joey's OCs. 2099, one of Joey's OCs. Tings, one of Joey's OCs. The Andromedus, one of Joey's OCs, and the Andromedae. The name for their gang, because these four people, well, Tings and Andromedus, they they share a body. They can switch from one to the other at will. Um, so that's technically three people, and the Andromedae is a gang name, of which. Desperado here is a part, so I have I have a, a close to full body sketch of Desperado. Well, I I can't I don't remember if it was a sketch or an actual drawing. It was most likely a sketch. I did mostly sketches in this book. Uh, and here are stinking Nico at Sumeo C's. It's just this game where you collect cats. It's nothing. It's nothing filled with sins or anything. I got really bored, so that's why I made. OCs for a game for such a game that does not need OCs. This is Fang. He's a hairless cat. Sir Cuddlesworth. He actually has blue eyes. You probably just can't see it that well. And this is Skull Crusher. I drew Skull Crusher just because the name was funny and it was cliche, and so was Sir Cuddlesworth. So I designed those two guys. Just uh, they're they're basically a joke. They're just a joke. Oh, hey, wait, hang on. Is is this two pages? Yeah, this is two pages. <laughs> That's another name. There's this um there's this clone. It's just a random Terran clone that was defective. 
so it was used for experiments. There's this thing in our story called the Molecular Rearrangement Serum. It allows the host, I'll say, the person who gets injected to rearrange their molecules, and it was given to Tings and Andromeda so they'd be able to switch easier and so their body could look more how it preferred. They preferred it so when Ting when it switches to Tings, she can look more feminine, and when it switches to Andromeda, she can look more masculine. And here's Desperado. He's he's a full on gun gunslinger. He's a he's a cool gunslinger dude and he's really tough and hardy. Not just because Terrasars are durable as heck. They don't have super strength though. It's just that they're really durable. They have durable skin, but they're not any stronger than a normal human being. It's just that their skin is tougher. So a bullet wound would be less lethal to a pterosaur than it is to a human. I base this picture off of prob probably one of my favorite alternate versions of Spider-Man, Spider-Man Noir. I just base it off of the looks. I don't like I don't the uh, watch the show, any of the shows or any of the comics. I just think he looks awesome. And Desperado would probably not wear a trench coat. It it, it has a lot of drag to it, but it looks awesome. So he's got a rifle here, a pistol here, and a pistol there. I think those are pistols. I don't know. Um, next are weird AU versions of Sans and Papyrus. It's for this AU that uh, that's been in the works for a long time. I don't, I'm not even really doing anything for it. I'm just drawing different versions of Sans and Papyrus and making an AU out of it for whatever reason. Um, it's called Under Blunder and Papyrus. Um, he has a, a really long cape. It's obviously like a less saturated red it's well it's just a little more gray the color palette for these guys is intentionally dull and sans does oh uh, San sans doesn't even have any blue he doesn't even have any blue it's all it's all gray i probably should have given him blue though and sorry about the shadow i, uh, I, don't, I don't have a light anywhere so i drew papyrus again uh i use like a weird i call it key orange it's just like yellowish orangish for the the rings on him and his weird belt buckle type thing and I think it looks ugly. Um so I I'll I will i change it the next time I draw under blender papyrus, but he's got a big full on cape. Um I think the next time I draw him I'm just gonna give him a, a dumb scarf because the cape thing it doesn't fit papyrus and it's just meant to be like just a toned down version of Undertale and basically one big joke. Here was more experimenting I did. Um, with like shading and stuff, I drew I drew a bunch of eyes and I mixed colors with the pencils. Like here, here's one here, here's um one version of the eye and there's this much simpler version of the eye. I did a lot of shading with a bunch of yellows and oranges here, but there's just just the yellow. Same for this one. I used plenty of greens and I think I used a blue as well for this eye. It's obviously not as well done as that eye though. You can it's like you can see. A perfect ring. If if you were looking at this in person, you could see a perfect ring around that lime green part. Here, it's just a mouth. Um, so this is what I can do, and this is what I will do. I just did that as a as a joke because my art style is super simple. But I can do. I'll I'll admit I can do a lot of cool stuff like that awesome mouth. Isn't that mouth just awesome? Isn't it dope? I'm gonna call that guy. Uh. I don't know what to call him. Uh, next page. This, these are two concepts for the head of a, one of Joey's characters, Eleusius. He wanted me to draw a head. Eleusius is a bionicle, so I based this head off of a bionicle piece. And obviously, it didn't go that well. It's ugly. This this bottom part is too wide, and it's just bad. And it was a waste of a page. So I'll probably use it for more concept art later. Um, these guys are two monsters that sing. But they are in no way related to my singing monsters. I'm making my own batch of monsters that sing, and it's an acapella, which means there's no instruments, but there can be stuff like whistling and snapping and beatboxing and singing. Just no instruments. I'm not doing any technologically enhanced voices either, like Cybop or, or, or Fangler. No auto-tune or nothing like that. It's completely traditional. I don't mean to bash on MSM or anything. Uh, uh, it's just I wanna, I wanna change it up a bit, I suppose. Because I'm, I'm falling out of making ideas for my singing monsters, and I'm just kinda getting a little simpler with it. Um, these are more of the singing monster dudes that aren't related 
to my singing monsters. They're the Babbling Ball Brothers, Arthur, James, and Lars. I'm probably going to scrap them because they look stupid. And I'm not happy with them. And just the concept is weird. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. Oh, shoot. Darn it. Great timing. Uh, hold on a second. There we go. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, my mom just came in and she needs to get some laundry. And here is probably something that's going to make you cringe. Uh, so, blam! Shoot, I want that thing to go away. This is concept art for my pony Sona for MLP. Because, uh, I'm a brony, even though I've only watched season 7. Uh, so, I... His name's Modus Charity. Uh, Modus is something like uh, emotion in Latin or something. Yeah, it's emotion in Latin, and charity is a synonym for kindness. Cause I'd say I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a kind dude, and I have a lot of emotions. I just ball them up all the time. So his head was like just a, uh, it was extremely round and didn't look like a horse at all. I saw this certain character in the show, I forgot his name, he was some kind of ancient god or whatever, I was like, his head looks cool, I'm gonna make my OC with a head that that's shaped similarly to his head, and it was extremely hard to work with, I could only, I, I, just, I just couldn't work with it well, so this is less round than the original one, but I'm not gonna show the original one, because I'm too lazy to pull it up on Amino, and I'm too lazy to get it from the sketchbook, so this is concept, there's concept art for his human form as well. Cause I'm working on a fan fiction, uh, for the, for there 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 there's a mini series that's like uh 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 human versions of the of the pony characters from MLP. It's like an AU. They're they're not ponies. They're humans. So I I made it I I made a human for that, and it's a self insert story. But there's no romance. Modus doesn't get r romantically entangled with any of them. So yay, that's one step up from fan fictions I usually hear about. And through years of practice, Modus Modus learned how to how to project magic hands. See, as you can see here, those are not answers, and blech, there there there's some. Hey Joey, there's. <laughs> hey dude. Hey. Say excuse me, cause you burped. I can't, cause I'm about to burp again. Ralph. Okay, there you go. He said Ralph. Um, through year, years years. Shut it! I'm making a video. Through years of practice and uh, child labor, Modus learned how to make magic hands. Because he's an artist, much like myself. So he uses, he uses his hands instead of just normal unicorn magic like he could just to levitate the pencil. It's a sketchbook tour. And it provides additional leverage. So, works for him. This is a concept for, for a drawn version of a Bionicle character I made. His name is Skull Bully. That's the same guy right there, Skull Bully. Then there's, it's not Skull Elusius. He's just Elusius. But these guys are what I or what we call the Skella Gang. I have them all on a on a shelf. I could probably show them off, but I don't wanna. Um, there's Bully. He's a very ang he's he's very emotional. He's not just that generic hot headed guy. Then there's Baxter. He's actually self aware. He knows he's just a character, so he's a he's a he's a little bit that kind of. Uh, hmm, I don't know, just knowing that he doesn't have free will at all makes him sad, but he's chill about it, and he's a very mature guy because of his knowledge. There's a Lucius, Ralph, Ugh, shoot, I was gonna say Ralph, but that burp was not a uh, good burp, excuse me. Lucius has six horns, I did not draw his horns right there. That's Skull David, he's, he's, he's the grumpy one, he's the grumpy one, he's a jerk, but he's reliable. He just might tick you off every once in a while. And here I was going to draw Bully again. There's another drawing of Andromeda just being grumpy and crossing his arms. Do I have a... Is there still a drawing? Nope. Couldn't. I didn't look for the uh, drawing of Andromeda. These are the Andorgs. They're different versions of the Andromeda I made. I got really bored, so I just started making... Weird, extremely simplified, almost knockoff versions of the Andromedae. So there's Desperd, messed up Desperado, messed up Andromedus, which is Andy Randy, messed up Tings, which is Tang, messed up 2100, which is 21, and messed up 2099, which is 2009. His head reminds me of that guy from, uh, that, that, that red and yellow guy from Osmosis Jones. This is a Pango. This is, this is the Pango I made in the speed draw a little while back. Uh, there's not much to say about him. But Joey's like, dude, I don't know how you do that stuff. I just say, well, 
I don't either. I just kind of do it. I, I put I put my mind to something, and then I, I finish drawing that something. So, woo! I, w I wish I used a different color for that beak. I just didn't feel like getting one. I mean, the, the ice part of the beak. The orange is fine, and I probably should have gotten some some peach for the part around his eyes, because that's actually orange and red mixed together, and it looks super dumb. Uh, so, but the beak, the ice beak looks fine, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, I, try, I tried to draw my version of Underswap Sands here. As you can see, I, ho I failed horribly. I was going to draw the legs, but I, I always draw the head in the center of the page. So I, I often don't end up drawing legs. So Plus the, the arms weren't turning out so well. So I just kind of went to the next page. Here is the Magnificent Sands. I, I didn't color in his board shorts. And there's going to be no speed draw for the Magnificent Sands. And there it says up there, I ran out of room. And I, the reason why I draw the name, I write the name so far away from the character is so that I can get a, a picture of the character without that ugly name in the picture. So I, it, I, most people would think it's a waste of space, but I think it's still a waste of space, but it's clever. So it's, but it's still a waste of space. On um, this is, was concept art for Underswap Papyrus. Obviously I wasn't, uh, Obviously, I wasn't giving much effort with this one. Um, he's not wearing a jacket. He's wearing a flannel, and I'm doing my own take of underswap. It's not just where they swap bodies, because in my opinion, that's completely useless. Here's Modus. Modus's final design. Uh, he's pretty much exactly like me. Um, he seems really apathetic and jerkish at first, but once you get to know him, he shines through. He's, he's still apathetic, but he's he's just a little more than that. Uh. Uh. Yeah, mm, so that, that's uh, I ran out of card to say there. This is Uncle Joe, another one of those singing monster dudes. He just kind of he just claps. He claps. People think he's crazy, clapping at nothing, but he knows he is crazy. Therefore, he is not crazy. Isn't that crazy, folks? I think I, I saw that in a meme on the internet. Um, I think that's a reference to Car Pirates of the Caribbean or something. So, instead of that, if it's actually a reference to the Pirates of the Caribbean, I'll just make his bio something like, Okay, okay, Uncle Joe is cool. Everyone likes Uncle Joe. But they all have the same question in mind. Whose uncle is he? Because he's just Uncle Joe. He's like, who are you? I'm Uncle Joe! Whose uncle are you? I'm my nephew's uncle! And no one knows who's, who's it, who his nephew is. His nephew's probably dead. So this is my movies to watch list or movies to re-watch. There's John Wick. John Wick 2, Kingsman, Kingsman 2, Deadpool, Wonder, I thought that was Wonder Woman, but it's just Wonder and I never want to watch Wonder Woman again, uh, Lady Bird, Edge of Seventeen, Nightmare Before Christmas, The Room, Justice League, oh shoot, yeah, uh, crud, uh, The Room, Justice League, Coco, Stronger, Split, Unbreakable, Unbreakable 2, if it's real, The Image, no! I almost wrote that I was going to watch the Emoji movie, but I'm not going to waste my life on that. Deadpool 2, Avengers Infinity War, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy, stinking Transformers 6 out of pure obligation because my brother and my dad love the Transformers movies. I do not. I am sick of watching them. And The Magnificent Seven, that cool modern western movie with Chris Pratt. This was concept art for a, a weird singing monster guy that snaps his fingers and just like, bah, 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 bah. but all he does is snaps his fingers and he dances along to it. I just didn't think this version looked good, so I drew another version. Wasn't happy with that either. Tried again. Uh, shoot. Yeah, th this isn't. This is a completely different guy. I just tried to draw another one. Um, I'm not gonna. I I took another crack at this guy, but I'm not gonna finish him because I feel like he resembles Uncle Joe too much, and I just want to keep. I, I just want to maintain variety with these dudes. And by the way, my voice did not crack. Uh, this is m more concept art for the guy who snaps his fingers. Except he doesn't snap his fingers anymore. It's just like when the song ends, he's just like... Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba it's just like how the song goes on for a few more seconds when there's just the one thing happening. And it takes a really long time to end. That's what that guy does. Um, and this is a final version. Uh, there was actually another version where his flannel was blue and green. But I didn't like it at all, so I so I crumpled the page up and threw it away because it was ugly. So I drew him again. His name is Womp, because I feel like that's the name that a guy like him would have. Um, uh, he and he also says, "Hey, 
when he's done, he's like, doo ba da ba doo ba da 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 hey, something like that. It's it's not gonna be that exactly because that was horrible, but I was just giving an an, an example. Uh, this is twenty one hundred with messy hair. Um, the Andromeda, they they enjoy fighting crime. They're very they're very much vigilantes or anti heroes because they kill people like a lot of people. Though most of them do have a fairly maintained moral complex, except for Andromeda. He's very careless. Um, this is 2100. She's not all about that crime-fighting lifestyle. She just wants to keep it low-key. She wants to stay in bed and, uh, just stare at her antidepressants for a while. Ah, oh, shoot. It did that again. I thought it was supposed to do that every ten minutes. I changed that setting, like, ages ago. Here's a drawing of me. Uh, prepare to get eliminated, you stupid freaking polynigmion. If you don't know what a polynigmion is, it, it means waste of space. It's just a... It's just... Smart person's word for waste of space, and I like using big words because that way, when the people, when the person actually knows what the words, what the the word means, it's gonna hit them really hard. It's like he called me a polynigmion, like that one moment from Steam Train. I think it was Steam Train. Either that, it was Game or ga either that, or it was Game Grumps. I think it was actually Game Grumps, not Steam Train. Here's another stupid drawing of me. It's just me jamming to my cassette player. I don't know why I drew myself all leaned over and awkward like that, like I'm slouching, because when I walk, I do not slouch. I don't know. I just don't like this drawing very much, though I am jamming to my cassette player that I got for Christmas. The two cassettes I have are the Guardians 1 and Guardians of the Galaxy and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 soundtracks. And I think I like the Volume 2 soundtrack uh, better. And here's me saying, wham! Bam! shing a ling in uh, That's one of the, that's uh, the lyric from one of the songs, Wham! Bam! shang a -ling. Um, there's not much to that drawing, it's just me jamming. Though I would never really sing it out loud like that and start moving around my arms like crazy. Uh, I'm not that passionate. And then here's concept art. Uh, there's one of the main bad guys... Um, for mine and Joey's Bionicle story, his name is Demoter. He's the master of death, and the master of death, well, no, death is one of the forbidden elements. So someone was going to kill all his people, and Demoter was like, no, no, no! And um, someone just grabbed him, and they held a knife to his neck and tied him up with stuff. That's just plants. It, it might be plants, I don't know, but they tied him. Oh, my God! That's getting really annoying. They tied him up with stuff and held him back and had a machete to his neck. And they, and they made him watch as all his people were killed. And he still had the mask of death on hand. So he was going to bring them back. But just as he was about to do so, he got, he got shanked. He got stabbed. And due to the special connection between master and mask, the mask brought him back to life instead. And I'm not going to reveal his master plan B because it, I think it is really cool. And there's him, he's just like, no, stop, when someone's about to kill all his people at once with some super attack. And they actually do kill all his people. So he was about to fight all the other guys, but, you know, well, no. He was going to start fighting the other guys, but then he got, you know, tied up, and they made him watch as all his people were killed, and then blah, blah, blah. The stuff from here ensued there. This is more concept, this is, this is concept art for Demoter's drawn form based on his based on his bionicle form i'll just say based on the mock which means my own creation it's just mock is the it's just me it just means the bionicle version of the character i'm drawing so i'll that's what i'm that's what i'm that's that's what it means in the context i'm using it in um so this is some concept art for this is the first concept drawing of demoter here he's got like a a ribcage looking thing and a spine on his armor. Well, it just looks like a spine, but he's it's not hollow at all. It's just like, you know, full on cylinder, basically. And then here is some much better concept art for Demoter, the master of death. Um, he's got the mask of death in his hand right there, and that's what, um, for some reason, they're, 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 the Bionicles have heads that look exactly like their masks. So that's what that is. And there, he's wearing a skull. Of a big old Rahi on his shoulder. It's just like a really, a, a very much so feared, a very, a, a very feared Rahi, a very widely known and feared Rahi on his shoulder. So it's like, 
I'm wear he, he he wears that so people know who the heck he is and so they back the heck off. And that's the modder for you. This is another monster dude called Dan the Man, based on Danny Avidan. Dan Ava Dan Daniel Avidan from the band Ninja Sex Party, and he's also from Game Grumps, and I think he's really cool, so I made a monster guy based on him. I don't know if I'll actually use Dan the Man. I was just out of ideas, so I made a monster guy based off him, though I do love the way I did his hair. This was more concept art for that monster guy that had a really big beard. Uh, still don't like it. It's based, also these weird monster guys look like stinking Muppets because they were based on, one, the Muppets, uh, and two, this cool YouTube channel called Fuzzaboom that sadly doesn't upload anymore. It's just like a kid's puppet show that I think is pretty cute. And, um, this is more concept art for a guy that, uh, I don't know what he does. I mean, he's just a real... Oh, oh, it was Bort's cousin. There was Bort and Boom. Hold on a second. Let me let me go back to that page real quick. There's Uncle Joe. Modus. More Modus. Where are they? Here we go. This one's Bort. This one's Boom. Boom is... Bleh. Boom is Bort's older brother. And this guy was Bort and Boom's cousin. So one day, Bort, he was like, Give me a jam! Because, um... He, he beatboxes just like a that kind of crud so he yelled give me a jam so someone would start singing to his song and then everyone else would start joining in so that's concept dark for Bort's cousin two more pieces of concept dark for Bort's cousin I thought this one looks like peace and tranquility bro though he was probably addicted to weed that's more concept dark he's just like ah! oh dang my crud fell over he's just like I could have been an engineer. Just regarding his life choices because he could have been an engineer, but instead he wasted his life singing with Bort. And then his name's Belch, so I drew him again. Um, he doesn't really... He, by the way, he's rocking back and forth, similar to a cool Sans and Papyrus gif. It's like... It, I think it's as if Sans and Papyrus were in the positions, positions of Mario and Luigi from Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story or one of those games. I've played Bowser's Inside Story but before. There was this one level where I had to beat the heck out of a bunch of carrots. Never got past it. Lost patience. Never played it again. That was years ago. Uh, but due to my mind being more, I don't know, due to me being smarter now, it was probably really easy. But because I was young and stupid or younger and stupider, I was just, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't get it. So this is Belch. He was like, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba, being the main singer. Human Modus! This is Human Modus Charity. He's wearing a turtleneck because he's skinny as heck. And he doesn't want anyone commenting about it. So he wears clothes that make him look less skinny. Though he does wear collared shirts a heck of a lot. Um, there's his cassette player. And he has a cassette player and he's like, ugh. Because I'm... a Believe it or not, I'm actually a really apathetic dude. Though during break, I've been a lot happier because I, without, I, I, I believe it or not, I needed, that. I needed a break from school and stuff. Uh, Modus, he, he and I were, he's, I'm just a very apathetic and kind of pathetic dude. Just very judgmental and intolerant towards others. And then there's this drawing. It's like, whoa! It's just a head, and his pupils aren't, pupils aren't there. So, in my self-insert fanfiction for Equestria Girls, it just makes me cringe saying that to th 3,000 people. Uh, he and Rainbow Dash are going to be hanging out because he <laughs> be befriends all of them to a degree. And one of his good friends out of the bunch is Rainbow Dash. So, he gets invited to his sleepover and he's like, Rainbow Dash! Fam, Rainbow Dash, you know, he's just like, Rainbow Dash, the entire point of a sleepover is to hang out with a squad of people that is the same gender, and while doing so, you can f romantically fantasize about the opposite gender. Why would you invite the opposite gender to your sleepover? And she's like, I'll make it simple for you, man. We just think you're a cool dude. And let's be honest, no one would romantically fantasize about someone as pathetic as you. And he's just like, Fair point. 
Because it's true, I'm pathetic, and I do not believe one person on the face of the earth, well, maybe a couple, would romantically fantasize about me at all, because I'm skinny, I comb my hair too much, I, lo <coughs> I, I look like a hipster, I'm, I look like a hipster, though I'm not up to date with trends and stuff, I still think dabs are funny, ironically, I, I dab ironically, just a little bit, <coughs> Um, and that's it for the sketchbook tour, uh, thanks for watching everybody, I'm gonna make speed draws soon, just as soon as I figure out what to draw, and I'm gonna make drawing videos too, uh, from pro pro probably of me drawing those monster guys, or Undertale stuff, uh, by the way, I do not consider myself a member of that horrible fandom, I just like the game, and I like the character designs, and I like the concept, though, I completely exclude myself from that group of freaks. I don't mean to bash or anything, but actually, I'm completely bashing on that horrible fandom, and I do not want to be a part of that. I just want to be a guy who likes the game. Though I've never played it, I just think the story is cool, the concept is cool, and the character designs are awesome. So I just draw the characters. And that's sorry, sorry about that little tangent I went on there. Uh, that's it for this video now. Bye, guys.